In this video, we cover tenancy setup for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Data Science. Open the navigation menu. Under Governance and Administration, go to Identity and click Users. Click Create User. Enter the name of a user. This name can be an email or a name. Enter a description and then click Create. Under Governance and Administration, go to Identity and click Groups. Click Create Group. Enter a name for your group, give it a description, and then click Create. After the group is created, click the name of the group. Click Add User to Group. Select the user that you just created and click Add. From the navigation menu, go to Identity and click Compartments. Click Create Compartment. Enter a name for your compartment and give it a description. The topmost compartment in your tenancy is the root compartment. You can create all the other compartments under root or under another compartment. Choose a parent compartment and then click Create Compartment. Users, groups, and compartments are global resources. You create them for your tenancy and it doesn't matter where the users are located. Based on rules that you define, User groups can access resources in any geographic location. The same with compartments. They are a virtual location and not a physical one. Data science resources are not global. They are regional, which means they are created in a specific geographic location. Before you create your data science resources, you should select a region near you. If you don't select one, then the default region displayed on the console will be the region for your resources. From the console, under Core Infrastructure, click Networking, and then Virtual Cloud Networks. Then click Networking Quick Start. Select VCN with Internet Connectivity and review the diagram. This option creates a Virtual Cloud Network or a VCN with two subnetworks in it, a public and a private subnet. The public subnet is set up with an Internet Gateway, a virtual router that supports connections initiated from within the subnet and connections initiated from the Internet. The private subnet is set up with a NAT gateway that gives cloud resources with private IP addresses access to the Internet without exposing those resources to incoming Internet connections. This option is especially useful for accessing the Internet to download packages for your data science models. The private subnet is also set up with a service gateway, a setup that gives cloud resources with private IP addresses private access to some Oracle services such as object storage. You can start with this basic networking setup and then update it to align with your business needs. Click Start Workflow. Name your VCN and select the compartment that you created for data science resources. If you just created the compartment, then refresh the page a few times until it shows up in the drop-down menu. This compartment will contain the VCN that you are creating. Enter a CIDR block for the VCN. Then allocate a subset of the CIDR block for the public and a different subset for the private subnet. You can use the suggestions in the examples. Click Next. Review your options and then click Create. After you get the message Virtual Cloud Network Selection Complete, click View Virtual Cloud Network. You will select this VCN and its private subnet later when you create your data science resources. Except for the users in a tenancy's administrator group, all other users and applications do not have access to resources in a tenancy. You must create rules about who or what can access which resources and how. These rules are called policies. In the OCI console, go to Identity and click Policies. Select the compartment you created for data science. Then click Create Policy. Enter a name for your policy. Write a description, select Keep the Policy Current, and finally write the policy statement. A policy statement goes like this. Allow some group or some application to do some action in a specified compartment. If you want it to apply to all compartments, then instead of a specific compartment, you write In Tenancy. There are four actions that groups or applications can perform. From the least privileged to the most is inspect, read, use, and manage. So for the first policy statement, write allow group data scientists to manage data science family in compartment data science work. This policy allows the users in the data scientist group to perform all data science operations in the compartment data science work. Click Create. After the policy is created, Create a policy in the Data Science Compartment, give it a name and a description. Then add this policy statement. Allow group data science to use virtual network family in compartment data science work. 
The action you choose here is Use because the data scientist group, all they need is to list the VCN and subnet that they have allocated for data science. So then they can attach the correct network to their notebook session. Click Create. After the policy is created, create a policy in the data science compartment. Add the policy statement Allow Service Data Science to use virtual network family in compartment data science work. With this policy, you allow the data science service to attach a VCN to your notebook session. You're all set. If you can launch a notebook session, then you have the proper setup. Let's do a test. From the console, under Data and AI, go to Data Science and click Projects. Click Create Project. Make sure you select the same compartment that you mentioned in the data science policies. Enter a name and description for the project. Keep View Detail page on Click and Create selected and then click Create. You will be directed to your projects page. Now click Create Notebook Session. Once again, ensure that you select the correct data science compartment. Give your notebook session a name, then select an instance shape for your VM. The notebook session is created on this VM. Enter a size for block storage. This storage is attached to your notebook session for notebook data and your data. You can increase the storage size later if necessary. Now it's time to select networking options. If the compartment that contains your VCN is different than the project's compartment, first change compartment for the VCN. Select the VCN that you created with the networking quick start. All the subnets for this VCN will appear in the subnet drop-down menu. We recommend that you use the private subnet. If you use the networking quick start, you can use this private subnet as is. Click Create. When the status of the notebook session is active, click Open. Re-enter your Oracle Cloud Infrastructure username and password, and you will see the familiar JupyterLab UI. Open a terminal window. To check that you can access the public internet from your notebook session, execute this command. wget spider with some websites such as oracle.com. If you get a 200 OK response, you're all done with the tenancy setup and you have public internet access in your notebook session. Follow the steps in the Getting Started Notebook to set up access to the model catalog and object storage from the notebook environment.